guys, how you doing? It's Rabia, hope you're all good. So this is a really cool little video. I wanna spread the message about a new company that's sort of been working on some really, really cool groundbreaking new age products. And they are Alberg Audio. Now you may have seen me talk about their pedals uh, in another video about the cool gadgets and whatnot. And I had the Echo and the ROM, which I still have, the wicked delay and reverb pedals. And I also showed you something called the Aero, which is this little controller. Now this controller can connect wirelessly via Bluetooth to the pedals. Now, just to give you a bit more in depth on the quality of these products, well, it's Bluetooth 4, which is the same Bluetooth technology used in the new iPhone. So the new Apple iPhone 7 with the AirPods and all that stuff, it's the same Bluetooth technology. So it's really low, um, it's sort of high bandwidth, but it sends really small packets of information. So it's really efficient and a really consistent way of transferring uh, information. Now you can use this to um, control the parameters of the pedal. You can use it to make presets. Um, you can store three presets in this in this controller, and also it just generally controls you know all the different parameters of the Alberg Audio pedals. So what this video is about today is a new piece of technology that Alberg have come out with called Moon. Now they've done a Kickstarter campaign for this, which is ongoing right now. I'll put the link in the description box below. Anyone that pledges for the Kickstarter campaign will receive 50% off the bundle package, um, which is something they're offering on their Kickstarter campaign. So go check it out. But more about the Moon. Essentially, it uses the same Bluetooth technology, the Bluetooth 4, but the coolest thing about this is you can use it to control your amplifier. So this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how I can control my Kraken with the effects loop and the master and the channels with literally wirelessly. So the idea is that you pair everything up. So you pair the aero to the moon to your pedals and the whole thing is a trick chain that you create and essentially you can scroll through using the aero all the different parameters so that you can build presets which is pretty cool considering all it is is these two little controllers and a couple of reverb and delay pedals. Bearing in mind that you can program this to MIDI, you can program this to any other pedal, not just Alberg, so you can use the Moon to control your Strymons, you can use it to control MIDI lighting rigs, you can use it to control MIDI amplifiers, so I could literally have this, create presets with it, and I could essentially create an entire live, sh live show with lighting, amps, pedals, and you, you can just get as many of these Moons as you need to be able to do that. The Aero and the Moon come with their own little Velcro sticky pad, and the idea is that you know you stick the Moon to your amplifier or to your flight case on stage, and it stays there at all times. It's not meant to be moved around too much. You just keep it where you need it to be. And with the Aero, you can strap this to your guitar, your guitar strap, your bridge, your pocket. It doesn't really matter where you have it, just as long as it's accessible. But I'm gonna take you through every step of the way of how you control it and how you set it up. So. First thing we need to do, start pairing everything and create a chain. So you need to give your arrow, and first thing you do is hold the down arrow, the main center button, and switch it on. So that takes it into pairing mode. So now we start our chain. Next is the moon. So I'm gonna hold the down arrow on the moon and then switch it on, and you'll notice the little red LED on this will start flashing. And then the arrow, to let you know that it's recognized the moon, will flash red, green, and amber really fast. Next, we wanna turn on the pedals and we wanna put those in our chain. So each one, hold down effects select and then plug the power in, that creates it onto pairing mode. And then finally do it to your second or third or fourth pedal, same process. Hold down the effects select button, put the power in and everything is ready to go. The next thing you need to do is you need to hold down the main button on the aero, the big wheel, hold it down for a few seconds and then take off and then it's recognized everything in a chain and you can control everything and start building a preset. Lastly, once it's recognized everything and you're ready to start using it, just switch the arrow off and then back on again, just so that it resets and refreshes everything ready to control. Now that everything's synced up, you wanna plug the TRS cable into the back of your amplifier, into your foot switch um, input. So I've plugged it into the Kraken. So now what I'm gonna be able to control with the Kraken is the channel and the effects loop and the master and I've got my ROM and Echo on the ground in the effects loop of this amplifier. So now I can take the Aero and just start messing around and creating presets. 
The best way for me to demonstrate this to you is to have a guitar so that you can hear the difference. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I've got my guitar. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you, demonstrate how it all works. And we've gone through the process of pairing everything. It really is that easy. Now I'm going to show you the difference between switching between uh, effects up on and off, master one and two, and the channel using the aero, and then also how I can adjust the parameters of the pedals and then create presets. So one thing to bear in mind is with the TRS cable, that's a double function cable, as in it's a stereo jack cable, which means when you plug it into an amp like the Kraken, which uses both the ring and the tip to change different areas of the amplifier, that uh, then correlates to the wheel on the aero. So spinning the wheel does one action and tapping the wheel does the other action. So to spin the wheel, that's going to change the effects of coming on and off. So here's a demonstration. Now if I spin it, it's just, it's just ridiculous. All I have to do is spin it right. Now I'm going to change, I'm going to turn the effects of back off. Now I'm going to change channel. Insane. Turn the effects back on. opinion that is pretty cool that I can just spin a wheel or tap the button and it's just changing everything it's kind of weird but in a good way so and the cool thing is that you know you can strap this anywhere you want I could put this on my guitar I could put it on the strap my pocket I could put it you know down here with all the other controls like you know your MIDI guitar uh, the Roland stuff you know the Roland V pickup and I was speaking to the guys at uh, Alberg and they said that a lot of players actually do put it on the guitar near their volume and tone pot so that they can adjust things with a little finger you know like they can get it to go on to say the decay of the rom or, you know the reverb or whatever reverb pedal you use and you can adjust it you know like fine adjust it with your little finger whilst you're playing which is just pretty crazy really so next I'm gonna start flicking through the different pedals so if we look at the close-up camera now you'll be able to see that as I press the arrow button we start moving across to different parameters on the pedals so you can see, and then you just use the wheel to turn it up and down, and it's just moving everything around. It's so cool. And to create a preset, on the left-hand side of the arrow, you've got Roman numerals 1, 2, and 3. If you want to create a preset, which incorporates the channel, the master, the effects loop, then every parameter on the pedal, just press and hold. For a few seconds, it'll flash, and then you're done. So let's create a preset. So what I want to do now is I want to create a clean channel on the ROM. So let's... Change channel, right, change channel. I'm gonna put the effects up on. Now, I wanna change, I want to change the reverb because it's a little bit too intense. So, let's bring the mix down. Let's make it a little bit brighter and definitely bring the decay down. So let's have a listen now. Yeah, I can dig that. Right, let's move on to the echo. I want to bring the feedback up, actually. I'm going to bring the level right down and the time, make it even slower. So this is what we've got. I think I want a little bit, bit more reverb on that, so I'm going to go back to my 
mix control, bring it in. And then I want a little bit less mix, but I do want to get rid of a bit of that high end and I want a tad more decay. That's cool for me. So at this point, I'm going to save this to preset number one. So I click and hold for a few seconds. Everything lights up, lights off. We're good to go. So now if I start messing around with all the parameters like this, as you can see, everything's going on full. It's going to sound horrible. Now I want to recall my preset. Just press one. And it goes back. Now, if I want to then incorporate the channel preset, then I just need to go back to the moon, like so. Now I want to do channel. So we're on the heavy now. And I want to make this more of a lead channel. So I'm going to scroll back to my reverb and delay. I want less feedback and I want a little bit more level. Time's cool like that. And then for the reverb, I want to bring the, get rid of some of that high end tone and bring the decay down a bit. And maybe the mix as well. But I need it a bit, bit brighter. Now I'm going to save that to preset 2. So as you see, everything lights up, goes off. So I can move between a lead sound. And I want to go back to my clean sound, press 1, and we're here. So that's basically how you use it. I mean, it really is that simple. And again, with the fact that it's Bluetooth 4 technology, and I reiterate it again, it's the same Bluetooth technology that the Apple iPhone 7 uses for the AirPods. Now, it, it, you know, so in terms of the, the consistency and, and, and how reliable it is, then, I mean, you know, it's pretty good. Apple wouldn't use anything less than the best. So the fact that Alberg have then decided to go and put that technology into their pedals and to all these receivers and stuff is amazing. And of course, this isn't the kind of product for you, you old fashioned dudes who love the blues driver and they want the blues breaker with the Fender Strat. Might be, but for me, this is about new grounds. This is new territory for guitar players because, you know, the fact that we've got more sort of flexibility with our tone and control at our hands and again, it is, you know, you could put this on the back of your headstock and you could be doing some really cool stuff like picking patterns and you could be using your index finger with your left hand to start messing around with decays, flicking around different parameters. And I say it again, this isn't just to control the Alberg stuff. You can control anything via MIDI with the, with the moon. And I'll put all the information in the description box below so that you can understand exactly how it works. And of course, if you're interested in looking into this product further and you wish to get some of it at 50% off, I've got the link to the Kickstarter campaign in the description box. Now, it'd be really cool if you guys could show your support for Alberg Audio because they're really nice dudes in Norway. They're a small company and they're, you know, they're trying to do something new and they're not afraid to give it a shot. And as far as I'm concerned, that takes some balls and it takes, um, you know, it takes a lot of determination to try and go against the grain. So. As far as I'm concerned, you're doing a good job, guys, and I'm really happy that I got to do this video uh, as an exclusive for the release of the moon. Um, so yeah, there you go. I really hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope it seems straightforward enough on how you use it. And of course, any questions, please put them in the comment section below, and myself and possibly the Alberg team will get back to you on anything that you might be unsure about. Lastly, please subscribe to my channel where you can get more videos and more updates on what I'm up to and you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for all the latest updates and stuff that's happening with the bands. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you soon.